Grinder. I you can get me. More damage, please, for the love of Scenarius, more damage. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Table Slam here back with another one, and today we're talking about armor penetration. You see that calculator on the screen, you know what that means. We're talking about a lot of math today, so strap in. Armor penetration is an interesting stat because of the way that it scales. Unlike some other stats, it doesn't scale in a linear fashion, instead it scales exponentially. What this means is that its value increases the more of it you obtain. There is a threshold, however. If you're under the threshold, armor pen isn't worth as much as strength or agility. When you're at the threshold, it's about even. And then above the threshold, armor pen is worth more. And then it actually makes sense to try and stack it. I used the Wayback Machine from the Internet Archive project to load up the old Elitist Jerks Feral DPS discussion thread where it lists 400 to 500 as the threshold. And this is easily verifiable by simming it. We're going to go to the GitHub Sim. Shout out to the GitHub Sim devs. I'm going to leave a link to their Patreon in the description of the video. But in this set here, I have all strength gems. I didn't gem for any armor pen at all in this set. Got 410 passive armor pen. Can't really see it that well though. Here, I'll, I'll do that. There we go. You can see there we got 410 passive armor pen. And when we simmed it, we got 9804. You know what? I'll sim it again just to show it's simming. We got 9813.14 with a plus or minus of 307. And then in this set here, it's the same gear, but I gemmed the armor pen soft cap. And you can see here I simmed it already. It's 9870, but we're going to sim it again just to be safe. So this was 9869, nice, 0.17 with a plus or minus of 308. You can see the difference here. It is more a gem for armor pen, but it's not that much more. So that sort of passive verification that around 400-ish passive armor pen is the threshold for when it starts to make sense to gem specifically for armor pen. And of course, the reason we don't stack it in phase one is because we can't get to the threshold. Even if we equip every single piece of available armor pen gear, we're nowhere close to the threshold. This is my current gear. It's not full bis, but it's still pretty good. There's armor pen on the helm, neck, shoulders, cloak, bracers, which aren't bis. This ring, which is arguably not bis. The only other piece we could equip that's actually like Wrath gear is this belt off of Grobulus and Ten Man. 33 armor pen. Other than that, there's like Sunwell legs. They have armor pen. There's the crafted gloves from Leatherworking from Sunwell that have armor pen. Even if we added all that stuff in, we wouldn't be at the threshold. Like this current gear that I have currently equipped only has 201. That's half of what we would need. Even if we equip every single piece of armor pen gear, taking eye level hits along the way, we still wouldn't be at the threshold. So that's why we don't stack it in phase one. There's not enough armor pen available on gear for us to get to the threshold to make it worth it to stack it. Now, I used the term soft cap when we were doing the sim comparison, but like, what does that even mean? What is soft cap? Well, it's related to the hard cap, so we'll talk about that first. The hard cap is 100%. If you get 100% armor pen and you keep stacking it, you're not getting anything out of that extra armor pen at all. That's wasted stat. The highest you can go is 100%. You can't get it past 100%. That'd be cool if it did, though. <laughs> get your uh, get the target into negative armor. That'd be sick. That'd be, that'd be kind of crazy. But that's not how it works. 100% is the hard cap. If you keep stacking it past that, you're not getting any additional benefit from it after 100%. So what rating do we need to get to get to 100%? It depends on where you look. Some places are saying 1399. Some places are saying 1400. What is it? It's actually a fractional amount between those two. The people who are saying 1400 are simply rounding up, and the people who are saying 1399 are simply rounding down. But let's take a look at the actual math. So we're back in the archived Feral DPS discussion thread from the Elitist Jerks forums. This is a snapshot from September of 2010, about a month before Cata Prepatch, which was October 12th of 2010. So this is late ICC Ruby Sanctum time period of Original Wrath. And we can see here that they calculated the hard cap to be 1399.57272, which is, of course, right between 1399 and 1400. So that's why those are the two numbers that people are always talking about. But how do they get to this number? Well, they use the in-game stats to calculate that one armor penetration rating was 0.07145% armor ignorant. We can get a little more specific than that. It's actually 0.07145 blah, blah, blah. But they rounded down to 0 0.07145 because the next digit after that was a zero. They did a little bit of algebra to find out how much armor penetration rating was needed to get 1% armor ignore. And that one is pretty easy to do ourselves here. We just do 1 divided by... 0.07145. I'm using the exact number, but you can do the rounded down one if you want. But when we do that, we actually get the exact result. 
if you did the rounded down version, you would only get 13.9958. But this is the exact number, 13.9957272, and the 72 is repeating. And of course, when we multiply that by 100, scale it up to 100%, we get 1399.57272, repeating. So that is how we get to the hard cap number. That's why people say it's either 1399 or 1400. You're either rounding up or you're rounding down. If you're rounding up, it's because you want to get to 100%. Because if you stop at 1399, you'll only be at like 99% or whatever. But if you go to 1400, you're over the cap by 0.42727, but you're at 100%. Of course, getting more than 100% doesn't do anything. It's a little bit of wasted stat, but I mean, it's less than half of one rating over the cap. So it's like, on the one hand, that's kind of whatever. But on the other hand, it's not whatever because you're over the cap. That's bad. That's kind of the difference between 1399 and 1400. I personally don't think it matters. I like to use 1400 because it's just an easier number to work with. <laughs> and it's definitely 100%. So that's just the explanation behind why some people say 1399, why some people say 1400. I'm going to use 1400 for this video because, again, it's an easier number to work with. But if you prefer to not go over the cap, then just use 1399. I don't think it really matters that much. You know what, I'm actually going to store the exact amount in the calculator and we'll use the exact amount in our calculations for the rest of the video and then you can decide for yourself if you want to round up or round down. But that's the hard cap. But what does soft cap mean? Well, there are some trinkets in the game that proc armor penetration. So the soft cap is the amount of armor penetration you need on your gear so that when you get the armor pen proc, you are at the hard cap. So we're talking about trinkets like Grim Toll, of course, we're all familiar with this one from phase one. And then, of course, we have the shiny new one for phase two, Mjolnir Runestone. It used to be a 665 armor pen proc, but now it's 751, which is kind of crazy. So basically, if you have one of these trinkets, you just do hard cap minus proc amount, and that's how you get the soft cap. So for Grim Toll, we have the hard cap here, minus 612. So our Grim Toll soft cap is 787.57272, which means rounded up, it's 788. And rounded down, it's 787. And then, of course, we go to Mjolnir Runestone, which is a 751 armor pen proc. So we go hard cap minus 751, and we get 648.5727272, etc. So rounded down, it's a soft cap of 648. And rounded up, it's a soft cap of 649. So when we're talking about soft cap, we're talking about using our gear to get to that amount so that when we get the proc, we are at the hard cap. Now here's where it gets a little confusing. You need more than just armor pen to reduce the boss's armor to zero. You can't get there with armor pen alone. Armor pen can only reduce a certain amount of the boss's armor and the rest of it has to be reduced by a major armor debuff, a minor armor debuff, and to get it all the way to zero, you also need shattering throw. I have up here another archive from Elitist Jerks found through the Wayback Machine. This is the Fury Warrior Compendium from EJ. This is again taken from September of 2010. And you knew they were going to have an armor pen section. Like armor pen is super important for Fury Warriors. Even in 2010, they were saying that armor pen's value may go beyond that of strength as early as Old War gear level, depending on the amount of armor pen pieces in your gear. Now that part there, that qualifier... That's talking about their threshold. Theirs is going to be a little different from ours, but either way, kind of the same deal for them as it is for us. When you get to a certain amount of armor pen, it becomes better than strength and agility, and it makes sense to actually stack it. There's a bunch of math here. I'm not going to go through all that, but there is an interesting table here that illustrates the point of how armor pen is not the only thing you need to reduce the target's armor all the way down to zero. We can see on here, with no armor debuffs on the target at all, with just armor penetration, we're only doing 88.3% the maximum damage that we could do, meaning 11.7% of our damage is still being mitigated by the remaining armor on the boss. Even though we're hard capped, they rounded up, they're using 1400 for their hard cap figure. Even with hard cap, we're still experiencing 11.7% mitigation on our attacks. And then with a major armor debuff only, just a major armor debuff, we're only doing 96.22% of our maximum damage on the target, which means we are still having 3.78% of our damage mitigated by the remaining armor on the boss. And then with a major and a minor, we're doing 97.97% of our total damage that we could possibly do, which means we're still having 2.03% of our damage mitigated. And finally, when we have a major, a minor, and a shattering throw on the target, we have 100% of the damage that we're doing because that is finally when the boss's armor is reduced all the way to zero. 
But as you can see, we do not get to zero armor just from armor pen. We still need all this other stuff to get the boss's armor down to zero. So even if you have hard cap, you still need a major armor, a minor armor, and a shattering throw to get all the way to zero boss armor. Now there's a few armor pen related things that you can do right now to prepare for phase two. Some of these are probably not news to everybody, but just in case, I'm going to lay them out here. First one, the easiest one, is to get the recipe and farm the mats ahead of time for the armor penetration food. It's a very low effort farm. It's called Hardy Rhino. You get the recipe from the same recipe vendor that you get all the other ones from in Dalaran. 40 armor penetration uses rhino meat. There's a ton of rhinos that are all low level, that are all over Borean. Kill a bunch of those, get a bunch of rhino meat, you're set. The next thing you can do is go to Valkyrion in the Storm Peaks. And you can farm the Valkyr mobs there for the 16 armor penetration Scarlet Ruby Cut. If you are a jewel crafter and you want to cut these yourself, you need to go farm the recipe yourself because it is BOP. And again, it's the Valkyr mobs in Valkyrion in the Storm Peaks. That's the area where you have to freeze the eggs for that one daily where you can get the uh, Polar Bear mount. So that's that area. And again, it's the Valkyr, the flying ones. And of course, the last one that you can do is to get the Jewel Crafter only armor pen cut. So make sure you're doing your dailies so you can get the pattern and the dragon's eyes for it when you're ready to switch. When it comes to gearing, fortunately, we have a lot of flexibility in phase two. There's obviously a lot of armor pen on gear, but also there's a ton more gem sockets available. As an example, my current phase one gear, which isn't full bis, but still, I have 10 gem sockets. One of those has to be an enchanted tier. So really, I only have nine sockets available. In comparison, in phase two, we're going to have 23 sockets. And of course, one of those has to be an enchanted tier, but still 22 sockets to play with. So 19 of those can be regular armor pen gems, and the other three can be the jewel crafting armor pen gems. Let's take a look at how much armor pen we could get if we gemmed full armor pen. So we'll start with the jewel crafting gems. 34 a pop times three, 102. We'll store that. And then the rest of it, we got 19 sockets left times 16, which is the amount on the Scarlet Ruby cut, 304. And then we're going to add to that the amount that we stored, 406. We could get 406 armor pen by gemming full armor pen. That's already at the threshold from armor pen gems alone. So we're going to store this again. And then we're going to look at soft cap minus that amount. And then we'll see how much we need on our gear to be able to get to the soft cap with full armor pen gems. You're going to be surprised at how low it is. So we'll, we'll do the rounded down number minus the 406 we had. 242. And of course, we'll minus 40 because of the food, right? 202. That's all you need. You only need 202 armor pen on the rest of your gear to be able to get to the soft cap by full gemming and eating the food. That's super low. <laughs> you don't even have to chase full armor pen gear to get to that number. You can get there by accident just by picking gear that's good. <laughs> So we have a ton of flexibility. So pretty much that's the minimum amount you need to be able to reach soft cap by full gemming armor pen. If you go for even more armor pen pieces, you can gem for less and still be soft capped. And then you can use like strength gems, agility gems, whatever you want. Just don't use attack power gems, strength or agility. So there you go. There's a brief rundown of armor pen without getting too deep into the super crunchy math. But if anybody is interested in seeing that stuff, I'll put some links in the description of the video to the elitist jerks threads that I found through the Wayback Machine. If anyone is interested in checking them out themselves. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful. And don't forget to madden your Johns.